Imagine taking fat from your leg and telling your arm to use it for fuel. That's kind of what happens in a weird kind of way. You see, fasting makes the cells more efficient at catching and utilizing fat. You see, fasting isn't just about a caloric deficit. It isn't just about compressing your eating window. Heck no, it's more about how the cells get used to using fat in a different way. I do want to make sure you hit that red subscribe button and please do hit that bell icon. We've got daily videos coming out and usually two or three a week coming out in the world of intermittent fasting or traditional longer term fasting. So please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I went ahead and popped the link down below too for the probiotic that I typically recommend, which is a probiotic called Seed. It's technically a symbiotic and that's a 25% off discount link. So a symbiotic means it's a prebiotic and a probiotic, which basically means you're getting like a specific kind of fiber along with the bacteria. And that's why it has a capsule inside of the capsule. So you're basically getting a multi-stage delivery of what you need, the prebiotics, and then later on down in digestion, you have the release of the probiotics. So the potential kind of multi-stage effect is highly, highly effective. And the literature is starting to suggest that seed has some really, really good strains of bacteria in their formulas. So it's really the only probiotic that I would ever recommend. And it's definitely good for people that are trying to change their diet. So that link is down below. It's in the top line of the description. And again, that is a 25% off discount link. So it's a pretty, pretty aggressive discount there. So check them out after this video. So here's the thing. To make energy in your body, you need to have what's called ATP. ATP is your gasoline. It's your literal fuel source, okay? Now, when you have ATP, you're able to turn that ATP into energy simply by taking off the P, okay? So basically what it means is adenosine triphosphate, three phosphate molecules, adenosine tri, three phosphate. That phosphate holds a bunch of energy. It's like just this powerful little globe of energy. And you rip off a phosphate molecule inside your body and it releases a bunch of energy. That's how you're creating energy to do every minute little movement, everything, okay? Well, when you're in a fasted state, it's really hard to create ATP. Your body can't synthesize new ATP very efficiently, okay? Because you're not consuming food and it takes money to make money, right? Takes energy to make energy. So what ends up happening is your body flips a switch. It flips a switch called AMPK, okay? Now this energy switch triggers a bunch of different changes in the body, ranging from glucose metabolism to everything else, okay? But it does some really cool things at the cellular level with fat. Your fat cells have the ability to reach out into the bloodstream and grab fats that are driving down. It's like a troll that's hanging out on the side of the highway. You know what it is? It's more like that radar cop that we all just can't stand sitting at the edge of the freeway when we're going a little too fast and he just picks you off one by one. That's kind of how our cells work when they're looking for fat. Fat's going through the bloodstream and every once in a while they can grab one and bring it in. Well, it turns out that once this AMPK is out, activated because we're in a fast, we have a bigger net that we can cast into the bloodstream to catch more fat. It's called CD36, and there are studies that show that fasting elevates AMPK and AMPK increases CD36 at the plasma membrane level. We have more nets, bigger nets to catch the fat, but it gets even better than that. Once the fat enters the cell, the job isn't done that fat has to transfer through a second membrane. And normally, it kind of catches a ride with the carnitine shuttle pathway, it kind of rides on CPT1. Long story short, it doesn't always get into the mitochondrial matrix where the magic happens. Well, it turns out, once again, when AMPK is activated via fasting, you have more CPT1, you have more shuttle buses. Okay, so think of it like this. Fat's cruising along down the freeway, it takes the exit, and it gets into the membrane of the cell, okay? But then it's stuck in traffic, so it parks, and it needs a shuttle to get all the way in. Well, that CPT1 takes it from the gridlock traffic and brings it into the center of the cell, where guess what? It gets broken down and utilized for energy. It gets goes through that fatty acid oxidation where we can actually create legitimate energy from it, from our own stored tissue. And this whole process has been made significantly more efficient. So when people say that fasting doesn't have an effect metabolically, that it's only calories in, calories out, they're forgetting the fact that we are making our bodies more efficient 
and more apt to use that fat. That's how fasting makes your cells crave fat. I'll see you tomorrow.